Hey guys, Bill here. Wow, we got so much to cover this week, I don't even know where to begin. For starters, a lot of people have been sending this in. It was caught off the California coast by a Chicago fisherman and called an alien sea creature. Then we have this uh, questionable photo that claims to show a guy who accidentally parachuted into a pond surrounded by crocodiles. I also have a great So Fake It's Funny to show you, and all this doesn't even include the big story. So we better get started. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive! The big story this week has to do with something we touched on last week, and it's all about what the heck is going on in this video. The video is in Russian, but translates to how to make a homunculus in English. The man in the video claims to have created a hideous living creature by following the instructions found in medieval books on alchemy. But is this video for real? Or is it just another big, fat, medieval fake? Why don't we get out our stethoscopes and see if we can find a pulse? As you might recall from last week's video, my research group, the Chewy Piranhas, became very interested in this video. To them, the video raises some very big questions. Namely, can a human make a hybrid creature with anything other than another human being? And if that's not possible, how did this guy fake it? It's a big job, but with my A-team on the case, we can get to the bottom of this puppy. To start, researcher Holmes Andreas volunteered to recreate the experiment from scratch. It's the best way to find out if it works or not. If it works for him, it should work for me. Now, while Andreas worked on his experiment, the rest of the group researched and debated the science of all this. On the one hand, I have pointed out it's not possible because humans and chickens have widely different chromosomes. But then Prom and Wojcik pointed out there are many examples of hybrid creatures with different chromosomes, like ligers, a cross between a lion and a tiger, the zors, which is a cross between a horse and a zebra, and even mules, which are a cross between horses and donkeys. I agreed that there are examples of hybrids, but pointed out that those only exist within the same genus or family of animals. This is why we can see many examples of hybrid dogs, but we'll never see a hybrid between a dog and a cat, because their genus or their animal family are too far apart. Ten days later, we still didn't have a clear consensus, so we turned our attention back to Andreas. Also Bill, ich habe alle Instruktionen genau befolgt und die, uh, 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 sorry, you might want to hear it in English. Uh, of course, I followed all the instructions precisely. Now it's time to show the results. Let's see what happened. Andreas cracked open the egg. He poured the contents into the bowl. And what we saw with our own two eyes led us to this, the official answer. Now, you know I'm dying to tell you what's in here, but if you watch this series, you know I can't tell you what's in here until you tell me what's up there, okay? Now, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video. A third way to go is just to hit the vote button right up here, okay? You ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm gonna show you what's in this envelope. I promise you that. But first, let's just take a real quick look at some of the other crazy stuff that came in this week. This picture, first sent in by Click My Lips, claims to show an alien sea creature caught off the coast of California. Now, Click, if you ever get one of these on the end of your fishing line, you don't have to call Area 51 about it. Experts at the Monterey Aquarium will be more than happy to tell you it's real and it's an albino swell shark. This picture sent in by Ali Hussein shows what claims to be a very unlucky parachutist landing in a pond lined with hungry looking crocodiles. Ali, the only place this guy really landed was on the pages of worth1000.com for a Photoshop contest. Here's the original picture without the parachutist. It was taken at a US crocodile farm in the state of Louisiana. 
And finally, we have this, some actual video that claims to show a young man having a dog face put over his own via plastic surgery in Brazil. No doubt there are a lot of people in this world that would love to put their favorite dog face on top of their own, but come on, do I need to say it? This thing is so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the yolk of our video today and see what the official answer is for the homunculus video. Wow, this is a big one. All right, I'm gonna speed through this one a little bit. You ready? Okay, here we go. Here's a quote. The video that claims to show the creation of a hybrid human chicken creature has been fully examined. Thanks to the tireless research of the chewy piranhas and especially the flawless recreation of the experiment by Holmes Andreas, we have a final decision. The video claiming to show a man creating what is popularly known as a homunculus has been determined to be a very surprising and unexpected, let's watch it. Look, there's nothing alive in here. Uh-oh, you know what that means. Not only is the claim of a man being able to create a hybrid creature with an egg false, but the video itself is filled with tricks and maneuvers intended to fool the viewer. Well, it won't be the first time. <laughs> As it turns out, there is some possibility that scientists working with some rather expensive equipment and lots of money might be able to mix human and chicken genes together to create a junior Frankenstein. But claiming it can be done on a dining room table like this is just not possible for so many reasons. But then again, how did this YouTuber fake it so well? I mean, how did he get that thing to move around like it's alive? Well, I looked into it and I found it very easy to replicate it. To show us how something like this can be faked, Andreas got another egg, but he also got some modeling clay. Uh, normally you should add some food coloring. I wanted a brownish white, so I didn't color it. Now, in addition to the modeling clay, Andreas also got a hold of some magnets at a hobby shop. I took a magnet and put it in the head, uh, so the part that moves. After rolling a small magnet into the clay, Andreas carefully cut a hole in the egg. To recreate some mold, you can fill in some oregano or soy sauce, whatever you like. That's just for a rotten, moldy look. From there, all you have to do is put in your clay, close the egg up with some tape, and you're ready to trick millions of people on YouTube. Wow, look at that. It looks so real, doesn't it? By the way, if you want to see the full-length version of Andreas' how-to video here, it's going to be available on his YouTube channel. I'm leaving links here in the video and in the description box, so go over there and check it out. Well, uh, the important thing was to let it look alive. For that, I used the second magnet, one we had in the head, of course. The second one I used under the table. The magnet under the table, in combination with the little magnet in the clay, can be used to move the thing around and make it look like it's alive. Uh, if you look closely at the Russian video, uh, you can see always if the humanoid moves, his hand disappears under the table. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive. Oh man, people, it's a world of trickery out there, I'm telling you, a world of trickery. And that's why you gotta make sure you watch Real or Fake every week. So if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button so you can say you keeping it real. That's all the time I have for this video this week. I wanna thank everybody for sending in all the great material we used this week. And I also wanna send a special thanks to the Chewy Piranhas and Andreas for helping me get to the bottom of this story. See you next time.